Now phase nine is where we register the front end with, uh, with console. Yeah. So what we need to do here is, so let's modify the front end to, to register itself. Okay. And we're going to define a service stanza. So this is a new, this is new code for us for the front end. Let me go back. And if I open the front end, after resources, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a service stanza. First, I'm going to find a name. So the name of my service is going to be front end. Then the port. Now this is interesting because I, I don't have to specify the port here and I, I wouldn't be able to because uh, you know, Nomad is using dynamic ports. I, ha I honestly have no clue which ports are being used to or being used and I, you don't need to know. Yeah, because there's no way to know. I mean, you can do Docker PS, but as the container go up and down, ports will change and you can't do anything. So what you need to do here is specify the label. Uh, if you see here, there is a label called HTTP. And basically, if you specify the label in the service stanza, you tell telling Nomad, whatever port you allocated to, to Docker container, use that for the service. Yeah, so that's, that's what it means. That's why we would use the, the label here. Now, another thing that is important for, for defining a service is the tags. So the, the tags, they're gonna be with console. And the first one, I'm just gonna define front end because I would just wanted to, uh, to indicate that this is the front end. But the second one is the important one for the load balancer. So I'm gonna call it URL prefix uh, dash slash. And this is specific to, to Fabio. Yeah, so later, I think, it, I believe it's phase 11, we're gonna deploy Fabio. And what Fabio is gonna do is, it's gonna go around, uh, well, it's gonna communicate with console, it's gonna check the tags for, for the services running, and it's gonna see this URL prefix dash slash, and it's gonna put the front end at the, at the slash of Fabio. So if you go to the IP address of the client and you put slash, that would give you the front end. If I wanted to, to place the front end uh, behind slash, let's say, slash front end. So that means when I put the, the client IP and then at the end I put slash front end, that would give me the front end. But I want this to be at, you know, let's say the, the root level. So I'm just gonna specify slash. So this is why we need the tags. The Another thing as well is the, uh, the health monitoring, right? So I'll, how you're gonna tell console. So console here is the one that is taking care or telling Nomad when things are unhealthy, when, when services are unhealthy. And that's where we, de that's when we define the, um, uh, the check stanza. For the check stanza, we have a couple of properties. So the first one is a type of the check. So I want the check to be an HTTP. So basically Nomad's gonna send an HTTP request. And there are different types, but for this, we just need HTTP. Now the path, it needs to know where to reach the the front end and my front end can be reached at the slash. So just at the root level, then we have two things. So interval, how long we're going to do the check. And I want to do this every five seconds. And this is just the requirement from, from the challenge. I'm just following what's in the challenge. And then the timeout, I'm going to give two seconds for the front end to reply. My front end should reply in less than two seconds. If it takes more than two seconds, that means something's wrong. Okay. Right, so I believe that's everything. Let me go back here and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Yeah, so when you're done, let's run a front end and see what happens. Okay. So if I do a nomad run front end dot nomad. So we see something changed. If I go back to the client and I do a Docker PS, here, nothing's gonna change. However, what we should see is our, we should see our, our front end application being registered with console. So what we're gonna do is, we know that console is running somewhere in the machine. I, I honestly don't know where. So just to make things easier to everyone, I just put the these commands so we can download console ourselves, download the binary, and we're gonna run a command with it. 
If you happen to find where console is running, you can just use that. But to make my life easier, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna do wget. You know what, I'm still running as root. Let's get out of here so before we do something that we regret. CD, let's go all the way back. Let's wget. Oh. Okay, I think, it, I think it worked. Yep, so I can see console, so I'm gonna unzip. That's get, that's gonna give us the, the binary. Now what I need to do going back here is to run console catalog services dash tags. So console catalog, oops. Let's run in the terminal. Console catalog services dash tags. And services or service? services okay all right and this is this is expected I mean I I would hope that the front end would register but what I what I learned when I was when I was building this is I what I believe it's happening here is that because the front end was already running and then we ran console the front end didn't register even though we we did we did, we did a, a plan and run it didn't register so ideally, you know, whenever you, you're, you're creating a Nomad cluster, you would spin up the, the cluster, the Nomad cluster with a console cluster. So console would be already be set up and then you would start deploying your applications and that, that would be fine. But here we just did the, the other way around. If I go back to the challenge, there is a little explanation on what to do. So what we can do here is to do a Nomad stop. So we're just gonna stop the front end and then we're gonna run it again and see if it's gonna register with console. Hopefully it will. Let's go back, so I have status, front end. Oh, wrong command. All right, so everything's running. So now I'm gonna do a nomad stop front end. If I go back and I do Docker PS, we should be, we should see everything is gone. Perfect. So everything is gone. Our front end is stopped. I try to run it again. This, let me see. Let me try to run first. Let me try to plan. Okay. So it says everything looks fine. We do a nomad run. Let's try again. All right, I guess now it worked. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it seems to be fine. But I'm actually very curious. What did I do? Oh, I did a Docker run. Oh, wow, that's why. <laughs> that's why I did a Docker run, not a Nomad run. Okay, that I make, now it makes more sense. Go back to the client and I do Docker PS. Okay, so I should see everything running. Now, because I was running console before and now I deployed the front end, let's see if it registered itself. So console catalog services dash tags. All right, perfect. So now we can see the front end here before we didn't see anything, but now we can see front end and URL prefix. So yeah, so just, just bear that in mind. If you were doing the challenge, you would probably, you probably face this. You would just have to stop the front end and run it again so we can see console and register.